It's not. It's going to be stupid. How's it going, guys? Royal T here with some more Battlefield Bad Company 2. Today I'm uh, defending on Port Valdez. Running the engineer kit with the Uzi, Gustav, Lightweight, Magnum Ammo. I think I got the garage. Uh, right off the bat here, I'll do a run up this uh, construction building and hop on this heavy MG and just kind of remove as much cover as possible. If you're on defense, cover is not your friend. Get rid of it. I like to get rid of this fence right here, and then once I'm done with the fence, I'll start working on any trees and get rid of. You want to just try and make this a dead man zone with no cover so they can't run from their spawn to your MCOMs. Usually you'll get UAV to goose stopped off this thing after a while, but as long as you can get some damage in, it's good to go. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Get goose stopped right there, but I killed that guy before I died, so there's that. So to start off with, you want to just rush to B. Get your eyes on that thing. Make sure they're not going to quad it up or come down here real fast and arm it. And then uh, once you put off the initial rush, we'd like to kind of push, push them back as much as possible and then you can get all the way up onto, you know, the sniper hill, noob hill, whatever you call it. You can really control them from there. It's a pretty solid choke point. You can watch them on the low road down below or on the main road. Gives you a pretty good vantage point. Yeah, see, we took care of the initial rush, and now we're starting to push up a little bit. Just taking care of a little more cover right here. like to kind of try and take out a couple trees every time I spawn. By the end of the game, there shouldn't be any left. That guy runs to a road mic. I don't know how this guy doesn't kill me. That's a terrible aim. I'm trying to make my way up to New Hill, but I think I get 40 mic right here. Yeah. You can see how many people just hang out up there all day long. There's always snipers and douchebags goose stopping. So we just go bring the fight to them. I like the Uzi as an SMG. It's all right. I think I still prefer the ump better, but it's it's pretty pretty solid. It's got a pretty high rate of fire, so those close quarter combat situations go pretty well. Although it does lack a little, uh, a little stopping power, if you ask me. Take care of that Wookiee, but I completely missed the other Wookiee that was just hanging out on that little cliff right there. It took a shot at me, but I think Stapler gets him right here. Maybe a little bit. Yeah, so this is the spot I was talking about. This rock provides awesome cover, and you can watch the, lo the low road and the high road, and then take care of any snipers that decide it's time to come snipe from up here. Poking my head out right here, but... <laughs> heard some uh, some pistol being fired behind me, so I turned around and found that guy. Ran down here to try to get this guy, but he was already dead, so I uh, make sure nobody's coming down the low road. I found this guy right here. I like coming through bushes if you're going to come like on the other side of somebody. It provides pretty decent co cover. I guess concealment, not cover. Get a double goose stop right there. <laughs> I think the one guy was a medic and he, he told his buddy to stop the quad so he could revive his other buddy. And I uh, just goose stopped the boat. It's nice when the, when the quads stop for you so you could hit him. And then I just make my way back up to New Bill. You always want to have a couple guys staying in your base. When, you have, when you're doing this, because occasionally a quad will get through, or the tank will get through, or whatever. So you want to have a couple guys. It's kind of almost kind of playing goalie in soccer. you got to have some guys, you know, watching the net. I 
think I was looking for the UAV right here. Somebody got it. And then back up the hill I go. I think this might not go so well. Uh, yeah, I go the right. Trying to get that guy in the quad, and then uh, the Finn's uh, AT mine blows him up. Nice placement there, dude. That's a good idea. I don't think I've ever put him there before, but people are always running off that cliff right there, driving their TVs or their tanks down to try to get the backside of A. I'll have to start doing that one. Take out this AA gun. All ammo boxes. Take that guy's head off with the garage right there. And, uh, my policy on red dots is uh, shoot right below them and see if you get a hit marker. If you get a hit marker, hit marker, fire some more. If you don't, stop. I pretty much fired any red dot I see unless I know there's a mountain in the way. You'd be surprised how many kills you get just randomly firing at red dots in this game. There's a couple stages on like a Valparaiso where it's just entirely wood. <laughs> like it was, I'm gonna post a game in a little bit where you just, I'm just like firing through the entire stage with my assault rifle just taking them out, even though I can't even see anybody. A little Uzi sniping right there. When I'm using the iron sights, I really like to spot before I start shooting. I'll typically spot and then sight up and then start shooting. It helps a lot if the iron sights are too crowded, you can still find them because you can still see that red dot. Right there I got a fucking shotgun while I was reloading my Gustav. I think I'm going to head back up the hill again. Catch a couple guys looking the wrong way. <laughs> and then knife this guy just to make sure he's dead. When I was playing the game, I thought I knifed him, but I looked back, it turns out I definitely crashed him. Right to the dome. I don't know. Some people might call this spawn camping, but I call it playing really good defense. This is the choke point on this side of MCOM, so you gotta watch the choke point, you know? I don't know. <laughs> Typically, we shoot the shooting them in their spawn if they're shooting back at us, and I don't know. Catch this Wookiee right here trying to make it along the, uh, the pipes. They seem to love it up there. Tap, tap, tap. SMGs are, I guess all guns in this game are, you know, infinitely accurate on their first shot. I guess snipe, not the sniper rifles, but pretty much everything else. So, as long as you tap, you'll get perfect accuracy. Rather dramatic death right there. <laughs> See these guys are been removing the trees too, which really helps a lot if anybody gets through the, the choke point right here. I'll take out one last guy before I die. I think that's about the game, guys. I think I want uh, what, uh, 16 and 5, something like that. Uh, hope you guys like the video, and uh, royalty out.